What is going on, fellow explorers? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Crypt Door. Now, as you know, last week we delved a little bit into the Varsity Chapel in Underground Mausoleum. Um, we talked about a little bit about that last week. And I had a couple of viewers, uh, Lisa and Teresa, try to go and do some digging to see if they could find out anything more about this underground mausoleum. Um, and, because it is, it is a mystery. It's very mysterious. There's not pictures of it. You Google it, all you get is a picture of the chapel on top of it. I had been told about a certain book that may talk a little bit about it. And it was a, a book I found on Amazon. It is Cemeteries of Santa Clara. I found this book on Amazon. It was about 14 bucks. Um, I've got an Amazon card, so it was, you know, with some points on it, had some points I could use, so I bought this book for like 10 bucks, I think, or whatever. But it's an interesting book. It's got, um, it's, it's got, what's, what's it got in it? Uh, Mission City Memorial Park and Santa Clara Mission Cemetery is what we're talking about here, the uh, underground mausoleum and chapel. Um, but I haven't really gone through the entire book yet, but um, it looks like a very interesting read. It's got um, information, not, not, you know, not just on, you know, the different, like the underground mausoleum, but it's got, it's got information on certain people that are buried within the cemetery, uh, which is a very interesting thing. It's got, it talks about people who were from Spain that came over. It's just different things going on in this book. So I look forward to reading more in depth on this book. Maybe over the weekend, I'll just open it up. It's not a super long book, as you can see. It's kind of a, a thinner book. And I'm um, finding out more about it, but the Santa Clara Mission Cemetery is what we were talking about last week with the Underground Mausoleum. Like I said, shout out to Lisa and Teresa for finding out what you could on it. Um, from what I've found in this book on, on, on what we're talking about here is that pretty much what they found out is pretty much what this book hits on also. So it's like there isn't, still isn't like a ton of, of stuff out there about the mausoleum itself. But um, let's go back over here. I got a couple, there's an introduction and there's a, you know, a little introduction page. I'm just gonna go to the next couple of pages up. I guess that's what the, uh, there's a, a drawing of the gate. There's like a diagram of the cemetery right there. A couple more pages in. And does this look familiar? It's the Varsity Chapel, with the uh, underground mausoleum underneath it. If you, if you Google search the underground mausoleum, no pictures of the mausoleum come up. It, there, uh, one of these two pictures sometimes comes up. That's it. If you, when you specifically Google it, there's no other pictures on it. But this right here is the inside of the chapel. Now this chapel, it looks beautiful. I mean, look at that. It, it's not a real. It doesn't like it's a real huge chapel. Uh, it looks like it's pretty tall, but it just around, I've walked around it when I was there that time. It didn't look like a very, very like large, you know, chapel or anything, um, but it, it's beautiful. It's stunning. Now, let me read some of the captions under the pictures here. This thing is just awesome. Okay, Varsity Chapel Exterior. In 1901, an underground mausoleum was built at the cemetery. A chapel was added above the mausoleum in 1902. So this, the, the, uh, the mausoleum was in 1901, and the chapel was actually built on top of it in 1902. And a 1906 edition gave the chapel its present form. The chapel was named in honor of Aloysi Aloysius Varsity the sixth president of Santa Clara College. Beneath the chapel rests many pioneers. I do believe, uh, I think it, it was uh, Teresa and Lisa had hit on that, the pioneers, in what was probably the valley's first underground mausoleum. This view of the chapel is taken from an old entrance roadside. Oh, okay. All right. The view of the Varsity Chapel is from the back of the structure. It features the dome with its cupula, cupula, cupola, and one of the beautiful stained glass windows in front of the chapel. So that was the, that was the caption on this picture right here. Now I'm not sure if I pronounced cupola or I'm you know if I pronounce that right. Trust me, reading has always been my strong point. Just there's certain words that maybe I've never seen before that I might have trouble pronouncing or something like that. But reading has always been my strong point here. But it is just beautiful. 
you know um like i said stunning the inside is stunning here i would i would love to be able to go inside just to see like you know it, you know where that door might be located cuz just to get a better idea i wouldn't try to go down there but of course if it's locked and they don't want nobody down there of course i'm going to respect that but i would love to see where that door is that goes down the stairs into the mausoleum that would be interesting a little bit about the inside on the inside of that uh, picture. The, there's a little bit of a, a caption here. Inside the Varsity Chapel is a center aisle of black and white tile, hand fashioned when the chapel was built. The same tile floor surrounds a beautifully carved marble marble altar. The cathedral style center dome with its stained glass windows was restored and is highlighted with gold leaf. The facility is open to the public only for special tours, although it can be used for services of those being buried at Santa Clara Mission Cemetery. Now, I guess maybe I had asked this of the lady on the phone at the, in the office. Was there was anything open for special occasions? I think I was pretty much referring more to the mausoleum and not the chapel itself. Uh, but she said no. But, I mean, the chapel may not be open right now for special tours or whatever just because of... Maybe they're not completely opened up yet over there. Things are, you know, things are going on in the world. Things are opening up slowly, but maybe that's why. Or she just thought I solely just meant the mausoleum, which I kind of was, I guess. But maybe at some point, if there's a special tour given of the chapel itself, I can get in there, the ch you know, and, and maybe film that in the chapel only. I would never try to push it any further than that, just because out of respect for the, for, you know, their policy and everything. And of course, that door going down in the mausoleum is locked anyway, so it's not like I can get down there anyway. And on the next page over is the man himself, Mr. Varsi. Let me see, I'll show you his picture. This is the man that the chapel and mausoleum is named after. Interesting. See here. During his presidency, Varsi began construction of the new of the new structure that served as both dormitory and theater. Despite the large debt of the college, it was called the Ship. It had a 130 bed dormitory on the first floor. The second floor theater seated 3,000 and served for debating, dramatic productions, and musical performances. So that's he had. That was a little bit about what was going on at the college there. And up top is his grave marker where he is uh, he's I don't know how close I can get it but he's the top one right there okay and a little bit about this Varsi is buried in the priest's plot in front of his namesake Varsi Chapel so he's buried in the priest's plot Varsity joined the facility at Santa Clara College in 1864 and served as its sixth president from 1868 to 1876. The markers are arranged in chronological order. So that is a little bit more about him and his, where he is buried there. He's buried in the front of the chapel in the priest's plot. Very interesting. Now, I think it was Teresa had found out, well, not found out, but was like like searching stuff about the, the Mr. Varsi also. She said she did not find any burial records of him being buried in that cemetery. That could be because maybe the, for whatever reason, I don't know for sure, but for whatever reason, they might not have had burial records for someone who's buried in a priest's plot where the priests are. Maybe they didn't keep records or have them public or, or whatever. Um, but Teresa had said she didn't see any burial records for him. But he, he's, he's right there on the stone, and they say he's in front of the chapel. So that, that could have been the priest's plot deal that maybe they didn't keep those records or don't release those publicly or whatever. But thank you so much, Teresa and Lisa, for um, digging on this, digging some information up on this. And I found the book. Um, another viewer had told me about the book, and I went on to Amazon, and they had one more left. And I thought, well, I got some points to burn on my Amazon card, and I better grab this book if I want to read about this and the other cemetery that is within this book. But like I said, it it, it, it highlights more than just like this. You know, it, ha it highlights some of the people that are buried in these places, um, a little bit of history on the people, like where they were from. Um, a very, very um, – so far, what, what little I've been able to dig into so far because I'm working, interesting book. 
And I look forward to delving more into this and maybe it can give me more information on people and I can go visit more people's graves and then if I could find them, the ones in the book, if I could find their grave, I could give a little bit of a history on some of these people in that cemetery when I go back at some point in the future. Who knows? It's wide open on this. So thank you all so much. Like I said, extra special thank you to Teresa and Lisa for, for you know, doing, trying to do, do a little bit of homework there and try to find out more about this for me. Um, you guys are appreciated more than you will ever know. Um, mystery solved a little, but not all the way. Still kind of mysterious on this little uh, underground mausoleum. Thank you all so much for watching. If you are digging this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon. Therefore, you can be notified of all of my future uploads. It was a pleasure to bring you this video. Now, I'm not going to do any more videos on this one unless some someday at some point they're going to let me into the chapel or the mausoleum, which I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. So that's that. Thank you all so much, and I'll talk to you later or... If somebody else finds anything else out about it, I could do another video about it, but I don't know. Talk to you guys soon.